Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we have some brand new Civivi knives, including their new button lock and a brand new Wii knife. So first off, we have the new Civivi Knox. Now, I do have a full review on the original version, which was Civivi's first frame lock knife, which was a solid steel frame lock. Now, this one comes with G10 on the show side, but it does still, still have a steel liner on the inside to, you know, to offer a little bit more durability and strength and, you know, and something for the bearings to roll on. Um, it has a deep, hollow ground drop point blade, very uh, slicey behind the edge. The whole grind is very slicey. Nitro V steel. I love Nitro V steel. We'll get more into that in a second deep carry reversible clip t8 hardware love to see that and the action is really good the detent is very well tuned it is not drop shutty but it's a very light knife but it's super snappy detent now, it's about the same size as the Civivi Elementum. It's just a lot slimmer and sleeker. So if you like the size of the Civivi Elementum, you might possibly love the size of this one. And the grind, you know, with the sharpening twill, it's not much of a finger twill, but you can use it, you know, for, for detailing work and things like that. But it's going to be very easy to sharpen, especially with the Nitro V steel. I personally love Nitro V because one, it takes an incredibly sharp edge. Whether you want a toothy edge or a polished edge, either one, it takes very, very nicely. So it takes an incredibly sharp edge. It holds a really good edge and it's easy to maintain. It's also easy to sharpen. So you can sharpen it very easily. Um, I, I like to think of it, it's pretty similar to 14C28N and you guys know how much I love that steel. So if you're in the field and you have to work with your knife all day, you can easily maintain your edge and keep it sharp all day on a strop or possibly a little bit of honing. Now, I like that's why I always recommend getting the work sharp field sharpener because you can keep it in a bag, keep it in your car. You can always have it with you for when you need to maintain your knives. And it works very well. It has the angle set and everything for you. This knife is, you know, being in Nitro V and being so thin, it's going to be super easy to keep sharp. And it is slightly contoured now, um, flat on this side, but you have a, a nice bevel around the edge. So it does feel slightly contoured. And it is nice and slim in the hand. It's going to be super easy to carry. But yeah, if you guys want to see the full review or if you want, uh, you know, the full steel frame lock version, meaning all steel, check out my review of the Civivi Knox. Next is the Civivi Altus, the new button lock. Now, this is a lot more compact. I didn't realize it was going to be this size. Let's check out the cogent. So here's their Civivi cogent. And you can see how much smaller this is than the cogent. But if you look at the grip area, the grip area is very, very similar. So, you know, not much off there. So I do get a full four finger grip with this knife. Very comfortable in the hand. Aside from I do feel the clip, it is a deep carry clip and it is a reversible deep carry clip for righties and lefties. But this is going to work out great. Great blade shape for drilling holes, doing utility cuts, you know, push cuts, because it is a, pretty much a spear point blade. Uh, maybe not quite a perfect spear point, but it is very close to a spear point blade. Um, Nitro V Steel. So we already talked about Nitro V Steel, fantastic steel choice for this knife. And the detent on this is so good. They offer a great break in that detent. And you can hear it has that same sound as the cogent. The reverse flick, very easy to do. Now the button is recessed in there, so you're not going to... Let me open it up. You're not going to be able to just, you know, bump the button and close it. You actually have to intentionally push it for it to disengage. No detent lash. And, the man, I know it's not an actual detent, but the plunge system, you know, with their, um, you know, what they 
how they keep it closed right here, that what they use as a D10 system for a button lock, is very well tuned for a button lock. A lot of times those are spongy. This has a very nice break to it. And being on bearings, it's going to be, and you can see how it kind of jumps away from me when I go to slow roll it, because it is a decent detent for that. But um, it is on bearings, so super, super smooth. And deep carry clip, so it's going to be nice and deep in your pocket, nice and easy to carry. And the jimping offers good traction, it's geometry. Nice and thin behind the edge. Not as thin up here, but it is a thin blade stock. So it's not a super thick blade stock. So it's kind of the happy medium range where it's going to be perfectly slicey enough to do whatever you need, but then also durable enough not to, uh, you know, you shouldn't. I wouldn't think you, you're going to chip anything on this. But I don't think really that's an issue with this size knives anyways. You know, we like them nice and slicey. Great, great knife. I'm liking this one. Um, and like I said, good size. Let's look at the button lock uh, elementum really quick. It's basically in between the elementum and the, the button lock elementum. Now it is more closer to the size of the regular elementum, but a tiny, tiny bit longer. Not by much, but a little bit. So if you really like the size of this, I think you'll love the size of this. Love that sound. All right, let's check out the new Wii knife, which is the Wii Subjugator. <laughs> the Wii Subjugator. And it is titanium 20 CV. This detent is nicely, nicely tuned. It's still breaking in. This is fresh out of the box, so it's still breaking in. But listen to this detent and lockup. Very, very nice. The action, it's definitely still breaking in, but it is very solid. The detent is nice and strong, very well tuned. We have another spear point blade. Man, I love that blade. That is a beautiful blade shape. Oh, it's going to be so good for everything. This is such a versatile blade shape. Ergos, very nice. Oh, yeah, and you guys know... You guys should know if you're following my channel, I have had this in the pocket for the past few days. I've been just loving this knife. This is the Wee Beacon. Same materials, 20 CV, titanium. This is a little slimmer than this one, but I can't get this one out of the pocket. It's exactly what's in my pocket right now. It's already had an edge put on it. You can see it's got junk on it, but yeah, man, this has just been a great, great carry. I can't get it out of my pocket. I'm loving it. Now, the detent's a little softer on the beacon than this one. This one definitely has a little bit more of a solid detent. But the beacon needs to have a little bit of a light. Not light. It's, it's very, very reliable. But it has the, the fuller for the reverse flick. In this case, we have thumb studs, so you can get a little bit more pressure behind it. Nice thwack. The inside is not milled out, so we have a very strong build here. Ceramic bearings, the drop on it. It's smooth, but it's still breaking in. I imagine it'll be very similar to the Beacon within a week. The so Beacon is almost false shut action. So I'm pretty sure it'll be right at that point pretty soon. Deep carry reversible clip. I love the hardware. T8 hardware all the way around. Even the steel lock bar insert. Thumb studs have nice uh, gripping to them while also being comfortable. Yeah, you can get a lot of leverage through those uh, thumb studs. And you can really hear the detent when I close it. How strong it is. But you can still slow roll it. Wow, I'm surprised. Wow. 
Stop pin is an internal stop pin. Love to see that. It's my favorite place for a stop pin to be. And I say that because if you ever want to, like if you sharpen this too much and it gets too close to the plunge grind back here, well, then you can off, you can cut in your own choil because it's not going to hurt nothing. So that's what one reason why I love internal stop pins. Beautiful edge on this. Nice sharp edge. Beautiful satin. And let's check out some other options that's available from this one because we also have a Damasteel version. And you can see all the specs and everything on it. And the price, the map price. And then if we look over here, you can see the, the Damasteel version. That one's going to be a lot more money, but we'll take a look at them all. This one's got the marble carbon fiber and titanium. Um, it's probably just the show side. Similar to the way we've seen the Knox. Very, very nice. This is going to uh, be in a full review soon. Maybe we'll do a little comparison between these two because they're very similar in a lot of ways with a lot of differences at the same time. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.